and welcome to my channel. So I'm on a bit of a marathon, catch up of videos, life going on, etc. So you may find that the sound and stuff's a little bit different, the lighting's also a little bit different. I have moved rooms, so I have moved from the corner of the front room into our like outside lock-up space. Nobody, one way in, one way out, uh, little craft den. So I'm still working on lighting, etc. I've got more daylight bulbs, so it's definitely better than working in the front room, but I'm still getting there. So anyway, I wanted to bring you my little, my small, I say small, because I'm going to be showing you a bigger one soon, a uh, haul video um, from Hey Little Magpie. So at the Birds of a Feather, Birds of a Feather, Pink Paisley, uh, Paige Evans event. Hey little magpie was there with a shop and she may only live around the corner from me but that's where I go to pick up orders that I've ordered on the website not to just stroke and look and buy. So anyway one of the things I did purchase was the We Are Memory Keepers tote shoulder bag. I do now have the tote on my wish list um, but it's not come back in stock yet so anyway this brought home all my goodies it's got little pockets in the front it's got a main part it does have a holder which fits in and holds all the paper that I've got here to show you and it'll fit on top of the tote as well so anyway that was one purchase let's get that out of the way if you want anything clearer, please do let me know. I don't mind doing the videos, but I don't want to talk about something if nobody's interested. So I've got quite a few papers. I'm not quite sure why I don't need any more papers. But yeah, I do need more papers. So anyway, I've got a few of the different ranges. So this is from Crate Paper Cool Kid. I got it for this side because I really do like the plus symbols with me so it makes a change from stars and hearts all the time so loving that this is also from cool kid so we've got a nice bit of the blue and some that brings in all the colors again from cool kid I've not gone through what they're all called because I can't read them quick enough and you'll be here for an eternity and then again, another crepe paper. Nice triangles as well. Is this one the same? Yep, yeah. so we're back up, still on Cool Kid. Love the yellows, blues, greens, awesome. And we've got that nice blue one, which is also crepe paper, and love these. Boom, pow. And another one from Cool Kid. Little fox is cute. And another. So that is all the Cool Kid range that I got, which should be plenty for me to get some layouts done out of that. We then move on to Cute Girl, because I have three of those, cute most of the time. So we've got this, oh good I did get this paper. I've recently placed an order with Hey Little Magpie and you know when you hover over something and can't remember if you've got it. I didn't want to come outside and look because it was warm. Yeah, anyway, I did get it. So I'm happy with that. That's got some nice cut parts when you just need to layer something up, get a hint of that colour, punch a shape. Awesome. Little houses. Then we've got some of the green. We cute little kiddies. I probably won't use that side, to be fair. I'll probably use that side, but it's there. Some more yellow. Grey, yellow, grey, pink, teal. Oh, love it. So there we go, we've got little bows. And again, probably wouldn't use that unless it was layering, but I like it. Geometric with the pink. I must find that crepe paper's not gone quite as grungy. It's a lot cleaner looking. It's not as much cream base. It's got that more whitish which I do prefer. I much prefer that to the um, cream base, but I can see myself working with this. 
we got some more pink and love this have seen some amazing stuff done with this just need to find it to be able to do it myself and then we've got a nice wood grain there and then I got the um, printed vellum because I like to have something a little bit different so yeah got that so that's the cute girl then we have oh it's crepe paper fest uh, then we have some of the snow and cocoa so I'll need to add this to my latest hip kit now if I remember rightly somebody told me at the event that there'd be no snow and cocoa papers in the latest like forever kit so I wouldn't end up with any duplicates I've got a feeling there was one or two anyhow uh, hopefully the ones I like and then I can just use both sides if not done now um, so yeah uh, got some of the snow and cocoa I love these colors anyway I mean this doesn't even need to be for Christmas or cold even though the UK will beat that hands down any time um, I mean probably would with this but if you weren't paying attention to the specific words like snowflake kisses you could just get away with it I mean it's chilly outside yeah you could use that in June so yeah and then we've got of course some calendars we've got the snowmen I probably would need a snowman picture for this but if not there's some yellow and then we've got this nice snowflake poinsettia type paper and a grid so again do they really need to be Christmas no um, snow and cocoa in the sort of strip blocks reminds me of a wooden floor but maybe in a primary school wooden floor and teal I'll be happy with teal got another one that unless you're just using it for a pop of colour definitely needs snow but if you're just using it for a pop of colour, who's going to know it's a snowflake? And if not, we have pretty big. Then we have the nice trees. Love these. Have visions of cutting them out. Whether I can be bothered is a different matter. And we've got a nice craft on the back. Lovely black and white geometric and some pink. So at the minute, I don't think I'm finding a paper that I couldn't make it work for non-Christmas and then we've got the sort of cut apart sheet which I love I mean he is adorable he is cute um, and then you've got some that can be three by four cards if you want them to be or layering pieces if you just want hints of the colour and if not we've got a nice standard pattern on the back so it's quite a bit of paper from a few different collections and um, glad to say I didn't repeat any in my recent order and then there had to be some other bits to go with so I've picked up these thickers which I have seen countless videos with them and I do like the easy titles so they come with teal on one side and silver on the other so they will get used I then got the cool kid um puffy sticker thickers like there's lots and lots of words here that will really work and then you've got your flute few others and if i find that i don't use them for my boy who's 15 so not really a boy um i have two nephews so i'll just use them so that's the bigger things i do already have the one for little girl which is good because they didn't have any and everywhere has been out of stock for a while so when I ordered a few cheap kits from Studio Calico I just popped that in my basket I did get the take me away mirrored words I do like a little bit of sparkle I like the things that are a little bit different that sometimes can just help your layout come together so I got those I got the snow and cocoa ephemera which has got lots and lots of different pieces in there. I'm not going to open up the whole thing because it's an older collection because I've taken so long to show it yet. Somebody will have it open somewhere. But we've got lots of little tags and some snowflakes 
and quite a few bits that will do as layering pieces and that fox is actually really cute can you see the fox it's got a little scarf isn't that sweet so yeah that's the crepe paper ephemera we then also got the cute girl ephemera this is another one that you know you when you're looking on the website you think did i order that i'm so glad i did so this has got a few different shapes I mean, I like things like that heart. I just know I'd use that and with the striking black, that'll make me pull out my black bits. You know, of which everybody has loads. They just forget to pull them out when they're actually scrapbooking. Yeah, those ones. Um, and then there's lots of other different pieces that even if I'm not keen on them, they'll work for layering. So yeah, proper crepe paper going, aren't I? Then I did get the... Um, cute girl wooden pieces so that again they're sort of wooden layered pieces so there's a couple of layers to those that'll give me again it's more of a focal piece something a bit different on the layout the boy ones were nice but I didn't see myself using a lot of them where's with the girls oh well and then I got the snow and cocoa puffy stickers because they're just so cute and I actually really like the likes of this. You know, I mean, we get six months of winter, so I'm sure I'll get that used. And yeah, so they're the puffy stickers. And then finally, I think it's finally, I picked up some of the Freckle Fawn 3x4 cards. Now, I'm not sure whether these are worth the £3.50, just because of the amount you get. But this pack I did think, hmm, that's a little bit different, it's a little bit nice. So we've got Call Me Maybe, we've got just a blank card. Now these are only single sided, a little heart, flowers, winky, conversation went like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, today I feel, not quite sure what that is. And then we've got that one. So really for 10 cards, 35p each, hmm? is it the best value if you don't like them all? I don't think so, but it was cute enough, give them a go, see what they like. So yeah, that was my Hey Little Magpie haul, that's not going back in there either. So yeah, well done to be able to browse around the shop just because it looks pretty um yeah and that's sort of all the goodies that i've got hopefully i will get to scrap with these soon i am working on more scrapping videos now i've stopped planning a bathroom refit deciding last minute to redecorate the front room moving my whole craft room working full time and yeah just doing life in between. I don't know where time's got away from me, but I want to get back on the rhythm of YouTube videos. So thanks for everybody that's messaged me while I've not been posting going, you've not been posting, where are you? I am here. Um, and I will be scrapping more. Yes. So thanks for watching. And I hope you keep an eye out for more of my other videos when I get my voiceovers done. And I'll get some layout shares, etc. uploaded with you as soon as possible. So speak to you all again soon.